So I got this ring light turned on. Um, this thing gets really bright. It's on the lowest setting, but like, look, look how bright it can get. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another one of my Nowski vlogs. Uh, this one is another one about nurse practitioner school. Um, this being the second video in my series of videos where I'm going to talk about going from RN to NP. Um, and in this video, I want to talk about the first semester of uh, nurse practitioner school. I have just completed fall semester, which was my first full semester as a full-time student. This program that I'm in is an in-person program. So I'm not doing this online. It is a program where I go to lectures um, and we're you know taught in person by a professor. Um, and then sometimes we might submit some assignments online, but um, everything as far as the lectures, they're in person and we take our tests in person. I'll do a, a separate video where I kind of discuss the differences between like an online program and an in-person program. But this is the one that I chose and it's the, the school that's near me. I just kind of want to tell you like what the classes were like and all of that. So here we go. I am in, um, just to kind of repeat, if you didn't see my first video, I'm in a primary care nurse practitioner program. Specifically, I'm in the adult Jerry nurse practitioner program, but most of these classes within the NP program, we are in the same classes as the FNP, the family nurse practitioner students. Our paths diverge once they go to do pediatrics um, training and we go on to do um, some frail elder training. But otherwise we all learn this adult, adult health stuff together um, in all these kind of generic courses. So the first semester I took, um, well, I took one class over the summer. Our NP program starts in the summer where they actually have you take one class. And then in the fall, you start taking a full set of courses. So I took advanced health assessment in the summer. And then I took advanced pathophysiology, advanced pharmacology, and a theory, uh, nursing theory in the fall. So now it's winter break. I've completed all those courses. Um, I did get A's in all of them. so feel good about it and I feel confident in what I'm telling you guys. Yeah, so um, if you are starting NP school, just know that over the summers, you might start in the summer um, or most of them, you're gonna actually have courses that go through the summers. So it is a nonstop program until you graduate. I'm in a master's level program, so it's a two year program. Yeah, so just don't plan on making a ton of summer plans <laughs> if you're in NP school. That said, we didn't take up the entire summer. There's still, you know, I think a couple weeks at the very end where, you know, you could do a trip or something. And of course you get your winter breaks off. So that's nice. All right, so my first class was health assessment, advanced health assessment. A little bit about that. So if you've taken, if you've gone through um, nursing school where you become an RN, um, you took a health assessment course in NP school. It's a lot of the same stuff. You relearn a lot of stuff. That's what I felt like. And then they just add on a little bit more. So you were still learning about how to assess the various body systems, you know, listening to heart, lungs, um, bowels, checking eyes, all the different body systems. You just kind of learn that general assessment stuff that you learned in nursing school. And then they might throw in some extra stuff so, and again, I'm saying this all from a primary care NP program point of view. I don't know what the acute care programs, um, what their health assessment classes are like. So you, you learn all your general health assessment stuff again, and then um, they go into a little more detail. So uh, we learned, you know, a little bit about x-rays. We learned about reading EKGs, which you do in nursing school, but you know, we, we had one lecture where they went a little more in depth with it. You are the care provider. We learned how to do a full body physical, which is basically, it's basically the same sort of stuff you, you assess head to toe as an RN. But in this case, you know, we're, we're acting like the patients come in, you know, in an office based setting and we're, we're doing kind of a head to toe with them. We did have a couple clinical experiences. It wasn't like a full set of clinical 
you know, time attached to this course. It was just these, these various little random experiences. So we got to spend a day in a radiology office where like I watched them doing MRIs and CT scans and x-rays and then we had an experience where we actually went and did physicals um, on Boy Scouts and uh, Boy Scout leaders so that was good practice just you know normal sports physicals um, then we had some experiences where we went to some free clinics and then um, we had one day where we actually learned pelvic exams. So that's something you don't really learn as an RN. So we learned how to do a full female pelvic exam and then went and had this experience where we got to do it alongside a nurse practitioner. Those were the big things that stood out that kind of separated um, or made this different from your health assessment in nursing school. And I know in nursing school, we learn how to use like otoscopes and ophthalmoscopes. Um, if I'm saying that right, ophthalmoscope, I always mess it up. But um, as an RN, I mean, when do we ever pick those up? I'm never going to look in someone's ears and diagnose like an ear infection. So even though we did play with that a little bit in nursing school, we, we revisit that a lot in NP school. So, um, but it's actually something that we'll do uh, as an NP. Oh, one other thing that we did do in health assessment, we learned how to suture. They kind of threw that in with health assessment. Um, so we actually had a day where we got to practice suturing on a big sausage, which wasn't the greatest because my sausage kept like ripping. It was a very delicate sausage. I never thought I would say that. <laughs> Anyways, we, we got to practice suturing on sausages. I've heard if you are practicing suturing um, using like a banana um, with some slits in it would would be a little better for practice because it doesn't tear as easily. We did get a textbook. I rented that off of Amazon. We barely opened it and I returned it at the end of the semester because the professor basically taught from her PowerPoints. Um, and that was that. Not too bad. All right, so that was my summer course, my health assessment course, the first one I took of NP school. Then in the fall, I took advanced patho, advanced farm, and theory. So advanced pathophysiology. This was the class I dreaded the most because from what I heard it was information overload and I think it varies from school to school but in this class the professor taught everything. This was our pathophysiology book. It's 1,600 pages. Um, I feel like she taught everything. Um, she basically she had powerpoints um, for each chapter and each chapter was like a 60 slide PowerPoint and it was just information uh, starting from cell biology into genetics into um, your learning the immune response and then through body systems and everything seemed to break down to the cellular cellular level uh, when you're learning about pathophysiology in these this course so it was it was in, it was intense it was my most intense course as far as studying but past it it was in this course you don't learn about treating the diseases that you learn about it's all about just learning about the diseases and the process behind them so once you get to your you know adult health class um, you're going to actually learn about treating diseases from what i'm told this is just information you're absorbing it you're memorizing it and and going on from there and then my next course was advanced pharmacology this course was probably my favorite of the semester because we got to learn about how to write prescriptions. Um, our authority as an NP to write prescriptions, what we can write prescriptions for, and um, it was cool. And then we actually learned about all the various drugs to treat different conditions. So again, this was a primary care program, so we aren't learning about like IV drips. We're not learning about chemotherapy, we're not learning about um, ACLS drugs or how to treat a patient who's in like cardiogenic shock or something like that. We are treating people before they have this acute hospitalization. So we're treating people's, I made a little list here. We learned about treating hypertension, uh, hypercholesterol, diabetes, asthma, COPD, depression, various psych drugs, infection. We learned about all the antibiotics. Um, again, not IV drip antibiotics, more so the, um, the stuff you would get in a primary care office or an urgent care center. So a lot of pills. 
Um, we learned about treating pain, so we learned about all your scheduled drugs, um, as well as over-the-counter, and learned, you know, how to treat migraines, um, chronic pain, um, urinary incontinence, heart failure, that was a big one. So all this stuff that people are treated for by their primary care provider, we learned about all those, you know, those medications that would be prescribed to those patients. So it was really cool. I enjoyed it. We didn't even have a textbook for that class. Uh, the professor, you know, taught from notes, from PowerPoints that she's made, and I learned a lot from that class. So pretty cool. Again, in a, an acute care NP program, it's probably a little different. You'll add on more of your acute care drugs. Um, as a CCRN nurse, I've already learned a lot about those. So I feel like um, it was kind of, it was kind of cool, like, to actually learn how you, you know, treat someone's hypertension and pick which type of medication you're going to give to them. Um, uh, because I, working in an ICU, I feel like all I see is all this, like, acute care, like, rapid treatment stuff. So I really enjoyed, uh, learning about all the primary care meds. I'm going to throw this in there because I talked about it or did a review of it in another video, but this little book, um, this... Heckman's Nursing Pharmacology Simplified. This is a good little supplemental thing for your pharmacology class, at least a primary care NP pharmacology class. So if you're looking for um, a good little book that, you know, goes over all the various drugs, all the different drug classes, that's a good little book. It's on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. And lastly, I took a theory course this semester, and I'm just going to say it. It was a waste of time. If you've gone through a BSN program, um, or maybe in an ADN program, you uh, you learn about nursing theorists. You probably did a presentation about one. I know I did in nursing school, and now in NP school, they basically just make you do it again. And I don't know why. So we actually did the same thing. We researched a nursing theorist. We made a PowerPoint as a group, and we presented it. Um, and then we learned about a bunch of other nursing theorists. Um, so as a lot of us, you know, we wrote some papers about what our theory of nursing is. Um, it wasn't easy A as far as a NP school course, but it was the class that I thought was the most waste of time. I would have rather learned about something a little more practical. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I believe every NP school has to go through another theory course. So maybe one day they'll drop it or change it. Um, but that was that. So those were the four classes, health assessment, farm, patho, and theory. Next semester, I'll be taking adult health, mental health, a statistics course, and community health. I'll be updating you about that when I get to that. So I'm going to make more videos about NP school. So subscribe if you would like to subscribe and keep seeing that. Or if you're in nursing school, I have some old videos where I was in nursing school or talk about being a new nurse. That's that. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.